What's going on YouTube? What's happening? Reddit 19, back with y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and drop as many comments as you can down below, like and share video. <coughs> Today I want to talk to you guys about insurance claims and insurance insurance fraud. In case you guys did not know, there are a lot of people out there who purposely and purposely try to get in, get you into an accident <coughs> because they're trying to get paid. When you're driving out here on the highway and everything, you want to make sure that you, you know, keep a distance away from people because people slam on their brakes because they want you to hit them from, you know, in the back and everything so they can uh, get a uh, paycheck. That's all that is. And you get every time every winter hits and everything, you get a lot of people who um who you know you get a lot of lawyers I should say. When especially when it's winter time when the roads are slippery and everything, you get a lot of people and everything who are uh, plowing back each other, a lot of people who end up hurting each other, and a lot of stuff end up happening. So I tell you guys and everything, be conscious conscience what you're doing, pay attention to your environment. Make sure you're aware of what's going on when you're driving. And everything you guys are driving is dangerous. <clears throat> driving is very dangerous. And everything. The fact that people do it for a living, such as myself and everything, is dangerous by itself. You get tired of people, you know. You get tired of people who try to hurt you. You get tired of people who try to do you wrong and everything. Because they will. They will set your ass up for you running back of them. That's how they are. That's how they are. They don't care nothing about your life, their life, and everything. They're just trying to get paid. There are people who pull in front of trucks when they see them coming, or people who just pull out and everything when they see you coming, just a regular vehicle. Because they do that and everything, hope you hit them, they get paid. Lawyers, like I said, in the wintertime and everything, that's probably their highest paid and highest lawsuit and stuff and everything. They do all this stuff and everything because they know it's going to be a lot of accidents. I keep telling you guys, everything's a recurring thing. It's all about the money. Like I said in my video, we do it for the money. That's all. Man, ain't nobody caring about them. Like the situation I'm dealing with right now. Everything you guys don't know and everything. It's going, uh, I'm working on getting some things together, but this is probably going to be my last year in trucking. But I am fed up. You guys have been seeing some of the videos I've been having lately. I'm, oh, I'm okay. I'm not mad. Nothing like that. But you just, you know... I just have my company, who name I would not mention and everything. I tell them I'm too tired to drive. I tell them I don't feel like driving and everything, but they so damn money hungry. They so damn money hungry and everything. They keep pushing for me to go pick the load up. Any truckers out there, please listen to me very carefully. And when you say, well, what does this have to do with insurance claims and insurance fraud? I'm about to tell you. If you are too tired to drive, I don't give a damn what anybody say. You're the captain of the ship. If you are too tired to drive, pull your ass over. The company talking about they're going to fire you or threaten to do something to you and everything. Let them do it. Let them do it. You'll get you another job. Once an employer find out the reason why you got fired from a job because you was too tired to drive and everything, trust me, you, you'll have a job. And the reason why I say, <clears throat> say this has something to do with insurance fraud, here's the problem. If you keep going on with some stupid ass dispatchers telling you to do, to keep driving and keep driving and everything, you mess around and have an accident. God forbid you eat them killing yourself or killing somebody else and everything. Your company's not going to have your back. <coughs> They're not going to have your back. They worried about their ass. They worried about covering their ass. They're going to say some shit like, well, he, I told him he can pull it over. They, all my drivers know. It says right here in the employee manual. They know they can pull over. And they know they just telling the damn lie. People, I'm telling you, man. When it come to money, they don't give a fuck about nothing. When it come to money. They don't give a damn how you feel, your feelings. If you're tired, nothing. I got to make the money. That's the only thing people care about. So... It, it's frustrating and everything at times and everything. But like I said, I'm working my way out of trucking. I, I got to get out of this, y'all. I didn't do this for long, almost seven years. 
everything. I've been all over the world. I've done everything I wanted to do. Everything. That's why I say I'm really am gearing up, you know, to get towards the army. Oh, uh, do that and everything, and maybe go get a career in culinary arts because I can cook very well. For those who don't know, or uh, do some maybe like um, go to uh, get the name of the school and everything. It's like a trade school and everything. Learn a different trade and everything. But you guys, please. When you're driving and everything, and especially when it's raining, please proceed with caution. Please be careful and everything because people are here to get paid and they will scheme, they will lie and everything every which way they can on you. They, they act like you hurt them and you barely even touch them. They laying all on the ground, lying and being phony and everything. They're trying to get money. They laying all down the ground. You know damn well you barely touch that damn car and everything. They act like their head went through the damn windshield. I'm telling you, you got to watch that. Be careful with people and get away from people who like to break a lot. Do not drive in, excuse me, do not drive in packs. You got a lot of people and everything who like to drive in packs. That way if one person have a break, everybody crash and all in each other. Don't do that. You see people driving in packs, get the hell away from around them. I'm telling you, it's all about that mighty dollar. Also, I'm gonna let you guys know, like I said, in weather conditions, whether it's rain, whether it's snow, and even some cases when it's all uh, sunny outside. Be conscientious of the car in front of you and everything. Watch for people who jump in front of you and slam on the brakes. Watch people swerving out in front of you and everything. Or, or somebody, every time you get near them, they, they put on the brakes. They put on the brakes. They put on the brakes. And everything. Not only is they picking with you, they're trying to get you to run in back of them. That's all it is because they can get the insurance they can get the uh, insurance claim from you. That's all it is. You get people and everything run around telling their employer to much they tired, they uh they didn't work all week. I mean, excuse me, they can't work no more and everything, and they getting workers comp. You find them damn niggas somewhere uh playing football or something, or or going climbing a ladder and, and cleaning the gutters out or something. Let's cut out the phonyism, man. Cut out the phonyism. I mean, you get people they do stuff and everything. I, I don't understand it. I mean, if, like I said, the bottom line would make this world go wrong. Sadly, it's not. it should be about God. That's what it should be about. But it's about money. It's about money. That's all it's about. It's about money. I got to get as much as I can. I don't care who get killed. I don't care who I got to run over. I don't care what lie I tell. I got I got to get money. So, be conscious of that and everything when you guys are trying to take care of yourself out here. You be driving and everything you guys driving is extremely dangerous. Especially you got a great big ass semi and everything. You got to be careful when you're driving out here. And then watch also, I almost forgot, watch out for high speed uh driving. When somebody driving at a high rate of speed and everything, you gotta be careful with that. You have got to be careful with that. Because you have a situation where if they driving reckless and driving like a fool and everything, they're going to end up running into something. Make sure it ain't you. You're going to need no unnecessary uh, accident or nothing on your record. And that's for you people who are driving record and everything. What you guys need to do, we drive, we got to understand, your driving record is just like your criminal justice, your criminal record. It stays on there. So make sure you be conscious of what you're doing. Watch for parking tickets. Um, speeding tickets and everything. I've gotten a speeding ticket before and everything. Oh, uh, long about three, four years ago and everything. You gotta, you know, be careful with that. And uh, just you guys, just please be careful out here. I can't stress it enough and everything. But you just have when you find somebody who don't know how to drive right, get them, get uh, get the hell away from around them quick, fast, in a hurry. Please do that. They break checking you and jumping in front of you and slamming on the brakes, cutting you off and everything. They're trying to get you into an accident, especially if you're a truck driver. They're trying to get you into an accident. Get the hell away from them and everything. And something else about truck driver. The reason why people always messing with truck drivers or truck drivers messing with truck drivers and everything, because if somebody get hit, it's, big, it's a big payday. You see them signs on the road all the time. You hit by a truck, call Chuck. You hear signs like that all the time and everything. It's because they're trying to get money. That's all they're trying to do. You know a car smashing you, a truck smashing to a car on the freeway and everything. Oh, call this number here and everything. You will get a big paycheck. I'll drop the hammer on them. 
and everything. Just this dumb shit. All it is, just like I said, a scheme to get money. That's all it is. Don't get me wrong, like I said before, and everything, we need money, but damn, you got to lie and cheat for it? And then you get people who back into you or try to run into you and everything. So then they, it, it, something else should want you guys to get both trucker and four wheeler. Uh, you know, anybody, any vehicle you drive in, get you a dash cam. I repeat, get you a dash cam. Make sure you got you a camera in there and everything because these assholes will get out there and lie like hell to the police. Especially if you're a truck driver. If you get somebody hit you in the front or the side whatever, or the back or whatever the case may be and somebody lies, say, oh, I didn't touch him, I didn't touch him. If you don't have a camera and everything, that's your word against theirs. So please, have you a camera with you. Make sure it's recording. I, I, I recommend, the, I think it's the Next, Next Star. Next Star camera, I think that's the name of it. I'm going to get, I'm personally, I'm going to get me one. It's already a, a camera in here. But like I said, I'm going to be done with this company. Done with trucking, uh, really. Because I done had my fair share. Like I said, I've been all over the world. I dealt with enough bullshit as it is. And I want to get off the road and everything and find up taking somebody off this damn earth. I, I don't have patience, you guys. Like I said, I'm, I'm okay. I'm calm today. And everything, just some bullshit from the company. But like I said, I won't be with them long anyway. I'm just telling you, I'm all right. Had a good, pretty, pretty solid day and everything. But I'm just telling you, watch for insurance claims and insurance scams. Watch for these damn insurance scam artists because they will run into your vehicle. And if you don't got a camera to show proof, it's your words and word against there, especially if you're a truck driver. <clears throat> you truck drivers, if you don't follow too close behind a car. Don't follow too close behind another truck because they will break on you because they want you and everything to run into them, everything so they can get paid. That's all that is. They wanna want you to run into them so they can get paid. And if you won't have no proof that they done that and everything, they gonna keep, they, they, gonna, they gonna get a big payday. Look at this one situation, this one trucking company, uh, uh, four-wheeler, we call cars four-wheelers, you guys, in case you didn't know. But this four-wheeler and everything, lost control on the opposite side of the highway, ran into this Warner driver, and everything, and messed around, got a lawsuit for ninety million dollars. Then for the people in uh, uh, the four wheeler and everything, they ran into the truck. They lost control now on the other side of the highway, but Warner got to pay ninety million dollars. Now tell me that's that ain't some bullshit. I keep telling you, money, money, money. You went and died in the wreck and everything. You lost control, but it's the driver's fault on the other side of the highway. If I lose, excuse me, if I lose control on the east side and I slam into somebody on the west side and everything on all westbound, excuse me, and everything, uh, how is it they fought? That's on me. I don't understand everything, but that's how people are. They do schemes, they run schemes and everything because they're trying to get money from you. That's the whole purpose of it. So when you're driving, Somebody get to breaking you and breaking you and messing with you and everything. Just back up off of them. I know it pisses you off because hell, it pisses me off. But remember, they want you to run it back up so they can, oh, shit, oh, shit. Oh, everything acting a damn fool. You cost the whole damn wreck. And then I can't stand people who throw the rock and hide their hand. I can't stand people who start shit. I can't stand shit starters. I can't stand them. You, you start shit, then somebody ready to whoop your ass. Now, all of a sudden, you play victim. So I'm just letting you know, be careful what you're doing, be careful what you're driving, I'm telling you from experience. Everything you heard me say on these uh, videos and everything, it's come from experience. Or, or, or at least seeing or witnessing something myself, in person. Hear, hear your boy and everything. I ain't lived to be 31 years old by being a dumbass. I know a few things and I had to learn some things. So please, when you're driving, be careful, especially in slippery and uh, wet weather. Make sure and everything, if you have to, get off the highway. Remember, you got people and everything, when it start pouring down, raining, they get to breaking and breaking and breaking and breaking and everything, like, because they don't know how to drive. And if they use smack in back of them and everything, they go to money. When lawyers, they a damn lie, they say they don't. When lawyers see uh, winter time come, you know, or, or it's raining real bad for a long period of time, that's money. That's how they make their money. They get the cases and everything, and they get a sham most of the time, and everything be off a lie. It be off a lie. 
So I'm just letting you guys know and everything. Watch you truck drivers. Watch out and everything. Be careful out here on the road. I'm telling you. Be careful out here on the road, you guys. I'm telling you. And as always, before I end the video, keep you one of those with you. As always. I don't never get on this video and I tell you guys, I always keep you some heat with you. Because you get people with that road rage shit and everything, that's something else you got to watch out for. I'm telling you, you listen to your boy. I'm telling you, I know a thing or two. Keep you, keep you some firepower with you. I ain't talking about no bullshit. Keep you some firepower with you. Because I can't tell you how many times I had run-ins with people. Hell, I was just speaking about it the other day. And I know a lot of people out there told me, said, hey, man, you need a break. You, 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 you need a vacation and everything. You are absolutely right. Yes, I do. And I'm going to take one because I'm getting my ass out of trucking. You guys, trucking has brought me a lot of good things. It brought me a lot of bad things. But I tell you one thing, everything. I've ran out of patience out here. I'm telling you, you saw the videos I put up and everything. That ain't me doing that for no views. That's coming from here. That's how I really feel. Because I, I, I'm done. And everything. Turn, like I said, turn my lights in. Uh, getting down. Getting, I'm going to be home more now and everything. Like I said, I'm going to be going to the Army Reserve. Enough of that. And then probably, hopefully and prayerfully, get on to another career. Y'all can have this road shit out here. I done done it. I done done it. Done it. Like I've been driving for going on seven years. So it ain't like I ain't paid my dues. So, y'all be blessed out here and hear me well. Hear your boy well. Be safe out here, you guys. And be conscientious of what you're doing. But remember, the object of somebody driving like a fool, somebody running into you, somebody falling down, you barely pushed them or barely bumped them and everything. Or they walk into a restaurant, they slip all out on the floor like they really hurt and everything. It ain't nothing but a scheme to get money. That's all it is. This Beretta 19. They say what's in your wallet. I'm going to tell you right now. You mess around, don't listen to me and everything. Ain't nothing going to be in your wallet. Because they going to sue the shit out of your ass for some old uh, insurance scheme. Beretta 19. Catch you on the next video. Be blessed.